have a condition that's called body dysmorphia, mm -hmm. and I've had it since I was 13 years old. It is a mental disorder um, based on either trauma or genetics, and mm -hmm. mine is trauma-based. And so what happens with that is the way I look at myself and the way people see me are two different things. Mm -hmm. And I always see myself, unfortunately, as, you know, that shit like my 600-pound life, no mm -hmm. matter how... I look to people when I look at myself, I can always pick something apart. I always feel like I'm overweight. Mm. And so because of that, there are moments <laughs> where it's like, I got to stop eating. Yeah. And then there are other moments where it's I like, to say, I think I'm hungry. Body dysmorphia. That's the case because I, you feel a certain way about yourself. No, but, but this is, this is like people. different because there can literally be nothing wrong, but I will find something. something mm -hmm. You understand? Like I yeah. can find something. And so with the average woman, it's like, well, I think I want to lose a few mm -hmm. pounds, but if they don't, they're okay. Right. You know, with me, it's like, no, I've got to lose the pounds, you know, because I see this fold on my wrist and right it, here. And it may not even really be there. <laughs>
I feel like it comes across as, you know, I'm being conceited and looking in the mirror because I am attractive and I got ha- I do have pretty privilege. I receive pretty I receive pretty privilege every single day. So, like I know I have it like without a doubt. <laughs> like so but with knowing that I don't know that in my own mind like I'm trying to make it make sense because I know rationally that I look attractive, but if I have one flaw, I'm going to think I'm not all of a sudden attractive anymore. Like, it could be, like, my hair is not looking right, you know, and I'll obsess about that. And I'll spend an extra 30 minutes in the mirror more than the normal person. And this causes me to want to wear makeup all the time because makeup makes you look perfect that's what it's supposed to do you know i don't wear a lot of makeup because also having social anxiety i worry about what people think about me like and i have to talk in past tense because this is the old me that was the old me the new me is healed because i told you i went to therapy for like a whole entire year to get help for it and it worked and i'm a lot better now so I can talk about these things and and I'm gonna talk in past tense because we're not there anymore so yeah with with you know body dysmorphia being a side effect of anxiety anxiety is constantly worrying about people judging you right so why don't you have a girlfriend I you okay I'm just I just <laughs> so that's also what is going to happen with your body dysmorphia you're worrying about people judging you so i go light with my makeup i was even taught that at a young age to not do heavy on your makeup i think we get this whole heavy over like bad bitch makeup aesthetic from like i don't know where we get it from honestly because i think it's doing too much you don't need all the makeup we never used to be like that like the old pictures back in the days when the celebrities didn't have all this makeup that they do now. Like, and everybody looks the same anyway. So it's like, you know, I just try to look as natural as possible. If I'm wearing, if I'm wearing any beauty enhancements, make them look as natural as possible, because I don't want people to think I'm doing too much. So that's, you know, that also plays a part in it. So, but it also benefits me because I'm not doing too much, and that's good. But I digress. Um. So back to the main topic, the whole makeup thing. So what I did to to conquer the whole no makeup thing, my therapist and I, we would do exercises. And the exercises were basically to, like, we'll do it weekly. So the first week, we'll have to remove one beauty enhancement. And then the next week, we're going to remove two beauty enhancements. And then the following week, three. So like week one, right? I would have to re- not wear a lip gloss for the entire week. And just see how people react to you. Because my thing with the makeup is a security blanket. And I get, I, I get self-conscious when I don't have my security blanket. Um, so... What, I, what we would do is I would go for the week one without the lip gloss and he would just have people, he would just ask me at the end of the week, how did people react to you? And I was like, they didn't notice, you know, they didn't notice, they didn't say anything, they didn't judge me. And, and so week two, um, we would remove the lip gloss and mascara, right? And so at the end of that week, he would ask me how did people react to you the people judge you and i will always say no everything was fine everything was normal and then the third week we would remove something else like it was just we would constantly re- slowly remove and more and more and what he was trying to get me to realize is that um you are over we can be harder on ourselves we can be really hard on ourselves and other people you know aren't even and other people aren't being as hard on us as we are. You know what I'm saying? We're not on people's minds. 
as much as we think we are. And that's a quote I heard from Dr. Phil. And it's true because when you have an anxiety disorder, you are constantly worried about people judging you. But what we have to understand for those who do suffer, that we are on people's minds as much as we think we are. Like, you'll be thinking, like, is this person looking at me? Like, do, is my hair messed Like, if your hair is messed up, you're like, are they looking at my hair? Is it all messed up? Like, people got other stuff going on in their minds. Like, people have their own problems. So that's just what we have to understand. Like, it's not, people aren't thinking about us as much as we think we are. Or they, you know what I'm saying? So with those exercises, it helped me to be more comfortable in knowing that I'm not going to be judged with makeup or no makeup because i told you i don't even need makeup because i take care of my natural skin i take a bunch of supplements and everything i've been using cleansers like i since i was in middle school like face masks like i don't break out like that i break up maybe like once every six months so it's like my body dysmorphia is it's the real mental mental illness um so i see stuff that's not even probably really there and it's really not there when you know looking back like i was really messed up y'all like any little thing would trigger me um but the difference between how i handle it and how other people handle their insecurities i didn't take it out on people like other people check out their insecurities out on the people who was triggering them when i would get triggered i would rechannel that energy and like Try to figure out how I can level myself up. And let's just say I got to the point where I had to tell myself, okay, I need to go get therapy because this is getting real bad. Because it was getting really bad. I told y'all in that last video, anytime my boyfriend would say another girl was pretty, it would trigger me. Or, you know, let me look at other girls would trigger me. Not only did there this help me with my confidence like i still had i had pretty privilege the entire time but i had to heal something within me to 100 percent feel confident and so once that finally happened my head I, like i used to walk with my head down now i walk with my head straight and i i walk with confidence now and i know i'm that girl and i you know people act like i'm that girl and i have to act like i'm that girl too you know I don't have haters for no reason. I have to be a bad bitch to have haters for no reason, right? I mean, for crying out loud, look at any bad bitch I know. They have haters for no reason. So I had to wake up. I had to snap out of it and say, I'm I'm pretty, you know. Look at how people react to me. Like, I, have, I be having white people, like, just stop me and, like, just have to say, oh, my God, like, in front of their husbands and everything like like i used to be a cashier and i would it would happen to me like every day and it's all usually mostly the white people i would get the most compliments since i live in california now now it's whites and mexicans you know black people for some reason they they tend to want to humble you when you're pretty they don't want to just give you a compliment i noticed that like i don't get the compliments from black folk unless the girl is like pretty herself and you know what i'm saying but it's barely in the black community that we get pretty girls get complimented at least i don't that's been my experience but anyway so i'm more confident now because of those exercises help me to understand and realize that you know I'm, pre I'm people aren't judging me that used to be my reason for wearing makeup because i didn't want to look I just wanted to look good and, you know, cover up flaws that wasn't really there. And once I realized all this and healed my brain and, you know, I'm taking medications too. So that's probably helping. But And then decentering men's helping a lot. Like, a lot. Like, decentering men helped me decenter my boyfriend. And it's helped me decenter how he tried to be trying to humble me when we get into arguments. Like. He'll be trying to humble me when we are beefing, you know. But I don't let it get to me anymore. So, decentering men definitely is helping. 
getting me my confidence back and definitely having a YouTube channel has definitely helped because it's I'm I'm doing something that I love which is editing and I'm helping other girls like me and getting validation knowing that I'm not alone and feeling like I finally have people that get me because for a long time I felt like nobody got me so like me having people that can validate and have your back it is part it helps boost your confidence it does having a platform it does so I hope I was able to answer your question Exoticals United just the thing about it is just to know who you are you look in the mirror you know you know you're pretty makeup is just an enhancement like we all know like and if you do do it don't you don't have to you can put like simply foundation on and um like make it look real simple it, like people can't even tell i have makeup on half the time which is another thing about it that drives me crazy and on the other side of being healed like people use especially white girls like they'd be like do you have makeup on and it'll be like days where i don't have it on or you know what i'm saying like people can't tell when i have it on which is when i don't have it on because that's how simple i keep my makeup i don't be wearing colors or anything i like to keep it nice and classy and cute and simple but because of my features and my bone my bone structure my cheekbones you know i don't know i just have a i have a really nice bone structure so i, I have to keep that in remembrance stop being so self-conscious you know it's trust that other people are seeing what they're seeing because that's another thing like people are you're always mesmerized when they look at me and i can tell by the way they look they can't stop staring you know what i'll be just catching dudes with their girls trying to sneak look uh, i literally have stopped traffic i've had people come from way across a mile away just to run over to me to get my number and so I know I'm attractive. I get pretty privileged. I have people helping me at work for no reason. I don't need help. But they wanted to help me so bad. So I know what pretty privileged do. I do. So I know I have it. There's got to be a reason, right? I just have to know it in my own head. So, you know, we all have insecurities. So we have to keep that in remembrance when we're looking at another pretty girl. We don't know what she's dealing with on the inside. And I know people are thinking that about me. Trust me. I know people are thinking that about me. <laughs> just just trust my experience. Just trust that I know my own experience, y'all. Because I do. So, you're more attractive than you think you are. So, I hope I was able to help Exoticals United. Exotical Attacks. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for listening.